Shalom, you all. What I have to say is something that's so vitally important to me, and I want to share it with you and hopefully get you to thinking along these lines. The Jewish community today is facing very, very serious challenges. The demographics of our community are changing in a very, very profound way. Far too many young people don't see being Jewish as even relevant at all to their lives. The organized Jewish community is struggling to keep up. And this all comes at a time when anti-Semitism is on a rise in the campuses and in the communities around the world. And then there is our beloved Israel. Close to 70 years after achieving statehood, Israel still faces existential threats. In the halls of academia and in public discourse, Israel is increasingly defined in extremes. And the debate has become so toxic that young people are choosing not to engage with Israel at all. This is our reality today. But hopefully with the help of each and every one of you here, it doesn't have to be. I believe that our greatest challenges help raise and bring to the front great leaders. Great leaders who refuse to resign themselves to the status quo. Great leaders who are willing to serve as change agents at the local, the regional, and the global level. Great leaders who ch see challenging moments as an opportunity to build positive moments. You are the reason why I remain so optimistic in these challenging times. You are my sure bet, my way of doubling down on a brighter future. I brought you here to give you the chance to think about how you will be part of the solution, how you will be the answer when years from now, your friends, your family, and your children ask, what skills and strength did you contribute to this collective movement? What impact did this movement have on the trajectory of the Jewish people and of Israel? As you consider these questions and your contributions, I offer you the following seven words of advice. Dream big, take risks, make it happen. I learned the importance of these three lessons from my late husband, Charlie. He took out a loan when everyone said he was totally crazy and it was far, far too risky. He took a chance on an experimental treatment when he was 47 years old and given six months to two years to live. He defied both these odds, building one of the largest held privately oil and gas companies in the world and beating those odds, he lived another 18 years. All of us are here today because of Charlie's strength, his courage, and his audacity. So tell me, do you all have that audacity to dream big? What risk will you take to help make these ideas happen? Who are the people who will help you along the way and who you can help in return. I want to close by welcoming you into the Schusterman Network and into this global movement. It is a movement defined not by what divides us, but what we stand for. Progress through innovation, big ideas, bold action, and most importantly, hard work. Inclusivity, equality, diversity, a love for the Jewish people, and for Israel, and a willingness to listen, learn, share, but most importantly, challenge each other, but understand who you are and be open to helping the person next to you. I love you, I believe in you, and I believe that you can change the world, but you really must learn to work together because as Golda Meir said, I never did it alone. So with that, shalom you all, and I'm counting on each and every one of you to pay it forward to make it a better world. Thank you.